All right, sweet. We're here at um, Taylor's Mistake down in Christchurch. And um, this is our guest for the week, Taylor Chamberlain. So how are you, bro? Thanks for having me on, bro. No, man. Good to be here. Um, had a pretty big nationals up in the mount, highlighted with uh, third place in the Open Ironman, ahead of some pretty stacked competition and a gold medal in the Open Double Ski. So do you want to tell us a bit about where you're from and um, growing up in Christchurch? Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm Taylor. Grew up in Christchurch. Um, I'm not originally from Taylor's Mistake. Grew up New Brighton West. Um, but as slowly as I've gotten older, I've just moved moved a, a couple times, surf club wise, um, and found myself at Taylor's Mistake and loving it. So obviously you've only been here for the last couple of years, but do you want to run us through like your upbringing as like an oceans athlete and um, what sort of got you into the sport? Why do you love surf? Yeah. So. Um, my parents got me into the sport, obviously. I lived across the road at Waimati um, Surf Club, and I grew up there all the way until probably under 16. All did oceans there, had a bit of success in, you know, the under 13s, 14s, couple golds. Um, and, yeah, I just loved it. Gave up my footy for surf. Um, and then senior age groups, I moved to Sumner Surf Club. We had a good little squad there, strong but small. And then, yeah, three years, the last three years, I've been over at Taylor's Mistake and the best surf club by far and yeah we're loving it over here just good surf club good people and uh good coaching crew good coaching crew eh? dave cement and uh blaze they're both volunteers really yeah so both, both volunteers both volunteers because a lot of people wouldn't know that yeah so both volunteers for the club they do a lot man every night weekends away comps away and uh yeah thankful for them both that's nuts yeah and um, obviously coming through Christchurch, what high school were you at and um, how did you find living in Christchurch in general as a city? Yeah, um, yeah so I went to Christchurch Boys High in town. Uh, growing up here, it was good, man. Like in the winter, it is cold, but we've got our perks. Like we've got our, the ski fields only like an hour and a half away. And in summer, we're right on the beach. So it's a bit of both, though. So, yeah, good mates here, good crew. I love it here, eh? So obviously growing up in Christchurch, everyone associates that with being like yeah. cold and that, but um, how do you find training down here over the winter months especially? Yeah, the winter months are uh, most definitely the toughest. It is pretty cold down here. Um, you don't really spend too much time in the water, the ocean. We kind of um, gravitate to the pool and kayaking as such to keep warmer. Um, so, but the summer, summer's warm and um, that's what we look forward to down here, eh? For sure. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are building like a pretty good reputation at the moment of having like a big open yeah. squad. Like how, how is training like day to day um, and who's pushing at training? Yeah, training's awesome, eh, over here. Um, we're slowly getting bigger and bigger. The juniors are coming up, pushing us. Um, us open boys, are, yeah, there's a fair few of us now and the girls, obviously. Um, but yeah, myself, Joe Hall, uh, Will Simmons, John T, Flynn, uh, Connor, um, yeah, we're all pushing each other at training and especially in the irons. We're a big iron squad over here and that's our that's our main focus. Well, that's pretty mean. Yeah. And you've been over to Aussie, like obviously did a year or a bit over there. Yeah. How do you reckon like training over there has helped your experience racing in New Zealand? Yeah. Um, yeah, so straight out of high school, I went over to the Gold Coast with Northcliffe for a season, um, raced and trained over there all through winter, summer. Um, but yeah, like everyday training is with the best guys in the world as such. So coming back here, my confidence going into racing um, is much higher. And yeah, like the competitive level, it's helped me heaps. Just just more experience, you know, those quick little um, changes in and out of the ocean has helped heaps. For sure. And um, obviously we all know you as Taylor, the surf athlete, but yeah. what do you do in your personal life? Like what's your hobbies? Um, well, I'm a well, I'm an apprentice plumber. So um, Monday to Friday, I'm working on the tools. And um, but yeah, as such, I just love the beach, man. So surfing, watch a bit of footy, love my rugby. So yeah, I'm into that for sure. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And um, what's coming up in the next few months for you? Like, obviously, have a bit of a break now, back yeah. from Aussie. So yeah. Um, what's the plans? Uh, so I got back from Aussie just a couple of days ago. Actually, had the Aussie surf nationals over there um have probably a month or so off and probably just get back into kayaking like i really love my kayaking so just do that over winter and then yeah just slowly pick up the swimming the running and then 
summer we'll be around and we'll be back at Taylor's Mistake every night. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Racing in Ausbit too, how do you find like the events over there compared to how it's run over here? Like, mm. is there anything you've noticed that maybe we should adapt or what's better? Um, well, first of all, the main thing is, is the competitor numbers, man. Like, they have round one, round two, heats, quarters, semis. That's just to make to the final, you know what I mean? So, like, over there, you have to be way more switched on onto it. Um, yeah, but, like, New Zealand's getting better and better competition-wise, and it's, and it's growing, man. It's good to see. Like, our last nationals we had, both last nationals, has been really well run. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think it's an exciting time for us, like, transitioning into a few well a few changes happening with um new event managers and that but it'll be interesting sure. to see the next couple of years yeah. how it pans out i just hope like keep guys like yourself and like my sort of age stay in the sport eh, to keep some open numbers yep. yeah yeah for um, sure bro yeah how, how what are your thoughts on having mates at other clubs and like the social life you've built with yeah. just mates from all over new yeah. zealand yeah all over new zealand and australia some of my True. best mates live in australia um obviously been over there for a year like picked up golf over there and now that's like the main thing i do um but even all around new zealand man like i got best mates in auckland that live up there and then christchurch obviously so no matter where i go like i've got mates everywhere for life now and that's 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 the good thing about traveling for our sport like, all our main comps are away just catching up with the boys man like it's good like on the beach just catching up with them eh? like yeah for sure. It's a pretty good lifestyle, really. Yeah, eh? hell yeah. Yeah, I love it. All of our comps that we do are, are up north, so how do you find, um, like, all the travel to get up yeah. to Whangamata and stuff like that? Yeah, man. It's expensive, eh? It's expensive for us, for us South Island clubs. We don't get much down here. So Nationals being in Christchurch last year was a, a huge benefit for us and saw our numbers increase. For sure. Um, but other than that, you know, we're taking two trailers to Nationals, Eastern, so which means we have to try and find like trailer drivers to drive drive up there ferry crossings it's it's expensive eh, for us accommodation and we've got a big big squad now so it all adds up for the club and for us ourselves we've known each other for quite a few years like raced in years, the same yeah. age group every oceans yeah um yeah how do you find racing against like the gizzy boys and um like run us through our favorite race of the season together yeah, man, like I've known you a long time now, ever since Ocean, so probably like under 12s, started racing against you. Um, and every year we've just slowly gotten better and better. Um, yeah, and this year at the Piha comp, we had a sprint finish for third and fourth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just pipped you, just pipped you, so got some prize money there, but it was close, man, photo finish. Um, yeah, that was a gnarly comp, bro. I really enjoyed it, eh? Yeah, hard. I think we'll definitely be back next year, eh? For sure, man, for sure. I can't wait. What's your favourite beach in New Zealand to race at? Uh, favourite beach? I reckon Piha, bro. Oh, fair. Piha, yep. where we competed at. Um, cool. The Piha Invitational. It's every year that I've been there, it's been big surf, good weather. And I love that Piha Invitational comp as well. That'd be my favourite for sure. Oh, well, sweet. Cheers for showing me around. And, um, Thank you, yeah, bro. Hopefully Hope you enjoyed back it. at some point. Yeah, for sure. All right, now we've got... Um, our next Taylor's Mistake weapon, team captain, Lucy Stroud. So um, do you want to tell us a bit about where we are and the history of Taylor's Mistake? Yeah, so um, we're down here in the beautiful sunny 03. Got um, Tia on a photo of our beach. Um, pretty lucky to have been growing up here around this coastline and it's pretty cool. Had history, family in the club. Mum used to race back for Taylor's back in the day. So always been out here. Um, we're so lucky, it's a really big historical beach, got heaps of landmarks around, heaps of points and everything that all the guys here are familiar with. And yeah, get lots of questions about the name of the club, and why it's that, pretty much run down. Old mate on the boat, Taylor Cook, who is sailing around, supposed to park up in the harbour and got the wrong bay, so Taylor's mistake, there you go. Yeah. Classic. And um... Like, how do you find training with the squad? Like, obviously we've heard from Taylor, you've got a pretty big group of Opens. We've always um, been working on the female side of things, especially in the Opens. Managed to get a few across from some clubs up north last year. So it was good to have some open female competitors to race with instead of bringing the younger girls up. Um, it's pretty good. We like to give the Open men here run for their money too. <laughs> but yeah, it's good fun. It's 
been really good in the past few years. We used to have a really small squad, but we're getting better and better and growing every season, getting more developed. And it's a big thanks to Dave Smith, our coach, as well. Without him, the numbers and the gear coming in would no, be nowhere near as what it is now. So. For sure. And um, obviously, we're all lifeguards at the end of the day before athletes. And um, living up on the hill, you obviously spend a bit of time here. So lifeguard of the year for Taylor's mistake this year. How do you um, enjoy and balance the lifeguarding lifestyle? Yeah, so I'm actually a PC here at Taylor's throughout the summer as well. And we find that lots of our competitors here are actually lifeguards and we work during the summer as paid guards too. It's really important here um, when the surf's up, it can get really dodgy and dangerous. So manage to run down from home a few times without people in the water. So it's good fun, but... Yeah, definitely keeps you on your toes when you're up at home. For sure. And growing up in Christchurch, like, uh, what high school did you go to and um, what's your background sort of living here? Yeah, so I actually grew up in St Albans in town and went to school around there. Went to Villa Maria High School from year 7 to year 13. Um, after that, headed to UC in Flatton Island, so it was a bit further of a drive out to the beach than just walking down the hill, but... It was good fun. Just love Canterbury. Love that you can travel to the snow and go surfing in the afternoon, skiing in the morning. It's pretty special. For sure. Yeah. So nationals this year up in the Mount. How did you find racing up there? And uh, like, do you enjoy racing in the North Island? I guess. Yeah, I love coming up. I think we travelled up for like four comps this summer. Um, nationals in the Mount was a little bit disappointed after Christchurch Nationals last year with the surf and everything, but. Had a good crack at it. I love when there's a wave on, so I find it quite challenging in the flat, especially um, swimming and those, yeah, all the way around the cans and all the way in. Definitely need to get in the pool a bit more, but yeah. And we've heard about um, racing at Piha and how fun that is. How did you find that experience this summer? Oh, it was so cool. It was my first time up at Piha and just loved the surf. It was great fun. Um, it's always a bit of a challenge paddling craft you've never paddled before but managed to get a few good waves in there, so it was all good. Yeah, good fun, good people. And you'll definitely be back next year? Oh, yeah, 100%. For sure. We'll be back and stronger, ready to go out that key highway. How good. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously, training and, like, study is a pretty big commitment, but how do you balance, like, the lifestyle of doing that and having a social life and being a normal you know, young adult. Yeah, probably um, why I'm heading towards the gap year this year. <laughs> but um, studying was good. Over winter here, it's pretty quiet. Like our training, it's just, like Taylor said, it's too cold out there. So, yeah, it was pretty easy to balance. Manage to um, play nitty in the winter, do a team sport. I think that's really important. And, yeah, just get back into it in summer when it's warmer. <laughs> and your mum obviously being a pretty high-profile athlete, how does that... Um, How's that helped you over the years, like her perspective on racing and, you know, as yeah. a bit of an idol? Yeah, definitely. I come from a very big sporting family background, so there's a lot of pressure around the dinner table with who's performing and what, but it's good fun. She always pushes us and, like, all we want to do is make them proud at the end of the day. And I think I scare the shit out of her when I send it down a big wave and stuff. She stuck on the beach when she raced, so she yeah, makes her a bit nervous when I'm out in the water and the big stuff. You've had the uh, Aussie experience too, spent a bit of time there this summer. So how do you reckon that's helped you over here? And what have you liked in particular about Australia? Oh, definitely. Going over to Burley in November for a month block, training with the squad, it's just so different. The numbers there are insane and the conditions that change there are pretty epic from day to day. So it was good to get that experience and train under Michael King and have good people, you know, training with the Nutri Grain girls and stuff like that. It's a crazy experience. Yeah. And uh, does that, like, something you want to do in the future? You want to go over there? Or are you happy here in Christchurch? Yeah, pretty happy. I love it here in Christchurch. Love being home. But um, we'll definitely think about the next few summers about where else I could go and where else I can challenge myself to For sure. train over there and give it a crack. Yeah. Pretty exciting. And what have you got coming up this winter? What's on in the next few months? Yeah, so I've got big plans um, off next week to the UK to go to lifeguard over there for their summer. Um, might have a crack at a few of those Great Britain competitions over there and even try to see where else in Europe I can go to give it a go and race over there. It would be an awesome experience, yeah. For sure, that's exciting.
Well, good luck, and um, I guess we'll see you next bit, summer on the beach. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers, Nathan. <laughs>